And welcome to Lisbon, the Portuguese capital. We're here at the home of Sporting. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Sporting, and they face Portimonense. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Well, playing at home is something they enjoy, Lee. This is very much a stronghold, so it's no surprise to note that they have the best home record in the league. Yeah, 13 wins in 17 home games is beyond impressive. It describes a team that's hungry, driven, determined and, above all, brimming with confidence on their own patch. It's a super record, it really is. Here's the lineup for Sporting. How would you sum up this formation, Lee? Well, 5 2 3, 3 4 3, lots of numbers. But the most important thing is the fullbacks. They need to supply support to their centre backs in defensive mode. But going forward, they have to supply some sort of support to the wide players who will try and provide the service for the lone striker. This is the lineup for the visitors today. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And the match begins. Well, disappointing end to the move. Denner. And a throw in it's going to be. Pedro Porro. And the ball with Pedro Gonzalves. Joao Mario. Paulinho. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Denner and now Denner and he read it well intercepting it Paulinho in behind for him to chase pulls it back can they take the lead here? And throwing himself at the ball. Short corner favoured. They're down on the ball. Tremendous block. And now the delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. And he's made headway. Teammate available. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Coates. Pedro Porro. Joao Mario. And with it, Joao Mario. Opportunity here, a smart stop here. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Yeah. 
and firing it into the area. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent set piece. And he gets up for the header, and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. Denner. Everton. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Denner. A very good tackle. Breaking at pace. And that is offside. An important interception. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? And the cross smuggled away. Pedro Porro. And with it, Joao Mario. Palinha. It's with Nuno Santos. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And Sporting unable to retain possession. Teammates in the middle. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. And there goes the whistle for half-time. Well, we spoke about it earlier, Lee, that fantastic record they have at home, so not a great surprise to see them in front at the break. Well, you have to say they have deserved the lead, albeit a slender one. Energy levels look really good. Lots of options on the ball for the home side. That makes the chance... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. The ball back was sporting now. Joao Mario. And the ball with Pedro Gonzalves. Paulinho. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Palinha. Pedro Gonzalves. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Good pass. Well cleared away. Everton. Takes the shot. And the ball is loose. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, everybody, including myself, is asking how that didn't go in.
Joao Mario intercepting it intelligently Everton still behind but the pressure mounting Morte. chance to finish will he finish what a vital intervention another perfect position to read it Zuhair Fedal so 20 minutes to go What a shocking pass, really. Oh, nice ball over the top. Crossing opportunity. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Joao Mario. Pedro Porro. Fruitful looking attack. It's with Porro. Joao Mario. Makes the move to the inside. And still a chance. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well read to win possession back. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fired in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Joao Mario waits. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient, waiting for the ball to drop, and then volleying with such precision. It's going their way, 2-0. And five minutes to go. Denner. Lucas Taglia Pietra. Pedro Sa. Well, the attack fizzled out. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Oh, great vision. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Pedro Sa. And there it is, the final whistle. Well, we ought not to be shocked by this result considering the fine home record, but once again, the fans will be heading home with smiles on their faces, Lee. Well, Derek, a superb result again here. They absolutely love playing at home. The expectation isn't a problem for them. They use that energy to drive themselves forward, and that isn't always easy to do.
They have mastered it, and that makes them a formidable unit. And the match begins 